Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to use clear quartz crystals with copper to enhance energy in electroculture gardening coils. Now clear quartz is known to gather and projects physical clarity, strength, healing, and mental awareness while supercharging and amplifying energy, light, boosting vibrant growth and adding fertility to the soil. Now the supplies I'm using is wire, glass rods and foil, and clear quartz crystals. These crystals have holes in them, so they're actually called beads, so I can attach them. Step one, cut the glass rods into 7 8 inches and foil. So obviously, if you want to make a bigger um, electro gardening coil, you would want to have larger pieces of rods but mine is a very small coil, so I'm just going to um, use 7 eighths of an inch, and I'm using these um, tools to cut the glass. You can just snip them right off like that, really easy. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to foil them. Now these glass rods are probably used uh, more for blowing glass and making beads and other things like that. But they're also fun in stained glass work, but you need to be able to attach them somehow. So the way I'm attaching them is I'm cutting them to a certain length and then just foiling the ends. Now I'm using three, I mean seven 30 seconds inch wide black backed copper foil and I'm cutting the foil in half because I really don't need that big a band wrapped around. And when I'm putting the foil on, I'm um, straddling the crack a little bit so some of the foil will actually wrap around the end of the rod. So kind of like make a little top for it. So after you're done foiling them, you're going to want to push down the foil, um, just like you would if you were doing stained glass work, you want to make sure that the foil is actually sticking to your project because that's what's going to help hold it together when it's done. The foil will actually allow you to encompass the whole um, end with solder, but the, um, you also want the stickiness to help hold it together. And this is about like I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little array of all these little beads and now I want to make like a center area. So I'm going to use 12 and 18 gauge wire to form the main hoop and the inner hoop area. You saw the main hoop a minute ago and that's what I use for that the main thick one that you see there. And then with the other wires I wrapped them all together and made like a little um, smaller hoop and as the hoop was being formed I released one of the thinner wires at a time use the 22 gauge wire and wind around each 18 gauge wire and form a coil. Now at the end of each of these coils that I'm going to be forming, I'm going to then attach one of my quartz crystals. One of the reasons I'm using this um, 22 gauge wire that I'm attaching right now is the quartz crystals that I bought the holes aren't large enough to go through the 18 gauge wire, but I did want the, the strength of the 18 gauge wire, um, both for visualness and for um, more, more power in, in attracting energy. So I, I thought that the, the thicker the wire, the more power would be um, converted into the soil. So I, as you see, I wrapped the 22 inch copper wire around the, the thicker 18 inch, 18 gauge wire. And now using my needle nose pliers, I am forming a little coil. Now, of course you can wrap these around other things if you want to, to make the coil. Because my coil has another wire wrapped around it, it just wasn't as easy to wrap this around um, a, a cylindrical shape to make the coil. It just seemed like it was working a lot faster and smoother by just doing it manually with, with the pliers. 
So I wanted these little coils to just kind of stick out for decoration and um, interest. So they're, that's kind of cute. So when, when that's done, I'm gonna add the quartz crystals to the end of each of these wires. And this is why I wanted to get um, crystals that already had a hole in them because like a bead, because it's a lot easier and more um, strong and stronger to have that hole so that I'm not just um, wrapping around, um, I'm actually going through the, um, the crystal itself and wrapping around. Because I'm planning on using these outside and I wanted to have some extra strength to my um, to my ends, and if if you think the wire is a little longer in places than you need, you can cut that off. So here again, I am taking an extra piece of wire, and I'm kind of looping it around. One loop on each side of the other wire, and then I'm twisting them together to make a nice decorative coil. Now when you're choosing wire for your project, make sure you use pure copper and it has to be bare. You don't want to get um, a piece of copper that's been tar you know, made so that it's not going to tarnish. You don't want it coated with anything because that will, um, it won't solder very well and it probably won't do um, what you want as far as electroculture gardening. It's, if it has that that coating on it, it's not going to gather and transfer energy as well as if it's just pure bare copper. And it's not that hard to find bare copper. But just watch out because um, some of the copper that's sold to, to use in jewelry making does have a coating on it because if you're making um, jewelry, you might not want it to tarnish and pure copper will tarnish um, over time. So as you can see, I'm kind of using these as kind of like rays coming out from the middle of, of this um, gardening coil. When I bought these um, clear quartz crystals, I wanted to get long ones. I mean, not really long, but that was the shape that I was after because that was the look I wanted was this, um, this, these long rays coming out from the center. So you can get crystals that have been tumbled. You can get round beads. They come in all different shapes. Step five, place glass rods into the hoop. So I have all those glass rods and I, I made a bunch of them and foiled the ends and now I am placing them inside where they belong. So I, I want to put one between in each of the, um, the spaces between the 18 gauge wires. So I have a bunch of them and I'm, I'm seeing where, the, where they'll fit. I had to end up cutting some more later on because um, I needed some that were a little bit shorter. But at this point, they're all the same length. I'm wearing these special silicon gloves. Um, I actually got them from Temu and I really, really like them. Step six, solder all the glass rods to the hoops. I already soldered one I showed you, and now I'm soldering some more. So back to my gloves. I love using silicon gloves because they help um, make a barrier um, to prevent the heat from the soldering to burn you as much as if you accidentally like dropped a bunch of solder on your. Um, they're not like completely foolproof, but they're pretty good. I try to get gloves that are um, really tight fitting. That's, that's the trick. You don't want to have gloves that are 
too loose because then you just don't get that 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 feeling that you really have control of what you're working on but these gloves actually ended up being pretty tight um, I do have um, some that I've gotten from Amazon that are usually used for like making your skin softer like to wear overnight or something and those work very nice they're very very tight um, which is what I like I mean they're not like I, it hurts you tight they're they're quite thin but they do cling very close to your skin and I really like that aspect of them the trouble is is that my fingernails go right through the ends of them so they don't they haven't lasted very long um, but I do use them sometimes but I just got this pair from Tamu um, I haven't been able to find them on Amazon and they are they're supposed to be like everyday working gloves and just look at the pictures when you're looking at um, at getting silicone gloves and make sure that the the pictures that they show have the um, don't have a lot of big wrinkles you know or get some that are that have sizes so you can buy some that are not um, really large now my hands are actually quite large and I still don't find them as tight as I'd like them because for, for soldering, I just really, I want to be able to feel my work through my fingers. So um, I don't want loose gloves for something like this. But this, this pair worked very nicely. I tried using a pair of um, laundry silicon, not laundry, dishwashing silicon gloves last time, and they just, they were too um, cumbersome they just were not clingy enough so that that wasn't good so right now I'm, I'm going around I'm, I'm still adding more of these um, glass rods and I had a bunch of different sizes I had a couple different colors and like about four different sizes and that was kind of fun because I wanted a kind of a variety of um, of glass rods for this So I'm just filling in all the gaps to really hold those rods in place. And the rods are kind of interesting to work with because they're actually um, bigger diameter than the wire. So you have to kind of like pick up the wire. Anyways, step seven, add glass crystal to the center hoop. So the center of my, um, of my electroculture gardening thing coil here, I wanted to have a crystal. And so this is a glass crystal and it's not, um, it's not foiled on the back. So it's completely transparent. You know, you can see right through it so the, gla the sun will shine right through it. I have a whole bunch of different ones and I found one that fit nicely. So um, it's nice to have a bunch of different crystals and have them all foiled right there waiting to be used and then you can just keep picking them up till you find the one that you like that fits your project. And I'm just soldering it in. I foiled around this crystal with about a third of a width of um, foil so it's not really all that well um, foiled the foil doesn't wrap around the crystal a lot but you do need to solder it in um, completely on both sides because the solder is going to help hold it in because the foil really didn't wrap around it and give it a nice um, surface to to solder on so you really need to make sure that the solder goes all the way around it to help hold it together. I, I didn't want to use a really wide um, piece of foil because I wanted to be able to see as much of the crystal as possible. See, I'm also soldering again um, the backside of all those rods and I'm also dropping a little bit of solder wherever the, um, the wires wrapped around, wherever they met. So that's what I'm doing right here is um, solder all the wire ends. So even at the top where they meet the, the crystals, I'm adding a little piece of solder. Um, some of my 
gardening coils do not have any solder on them at all. This one just um, happens to have solder because of the way I wanted to add those rods to it. So that's just the way it's going to be. And the solder is conductive. So electricity will go through solder. So it shouldn't really affect the, um, the transfer of energy from the sun because the copper rod is still there going all the way and I'm not coating it with anything. I'm just putting the, um, the solder on it. What I don't want to coat it with is something like, like a clear spray paint or something, something that's like a plastic coating. I want to leave it as, as natural as, as I can. When I was all done doing this, I, I added a couple of small glasses to the bottom and washed it, and now I'm going to patina it. Now, the reason I'm adding the patina is because I, I want the, all the solder to be the same color as the bare copper. And as you can see, n the whole thing's not soldered. It's just in little bits and around the, um, the center. So spraying a little bit of patina and using my toothbrush and scrubbing in patina on the on the um, the areas that I soldered will just make it all blend together. Now I'm going to finish with polish or oil. I'm actually using linseed oil and making it all all shiny and voila I'm done and this is my my project when I was finished. And it's, it's a lot of fun. I put it out in my garden. And I'm just hoping that, you know, the, a lot of sites say that this will help my plant grow. So I have a little pumpkin patch in the backyard. And I am using this to help direct the energy from the sun into the soil and help my plant grow. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.